Welcome to the introduction for the Secrets of Brushes with Corel Draw Training Series. In this series, we'll be working with our 400 brush pack available from advancedtshirts.com. And, and actually, these designs that you're looking at were all created with custom brushes from that brush pack. The effects and the text here, this metallic wing, the halftone effects, the shading, everything except for the skull was all created with brushes coming out of our brush pack. And the same for this particular setup down here, which is the skulls with the barbed wire and the hand-drawn wings, a real affliction look there. Yet it's all vector, vector, and if we zoom in here, we can see that this has got some nice hand-drawn detail. And all of our brushes have been set up to function specifically in CorelDRAW as interactive brushes. And we'll cover all of that in the training. We'll show you how to work with all the brushes, how to do everything from creating your own custom design setups to going in and tweaking designs and upgrading designs. You can see that we took these football designs, we had some nice halftone effects to these. Back here on page three, we've got a Bulldogs baseball logo that we updated with brushes. We brought in some barbed wire and some wings there, and we'll cover all of this in the training. And here on page four, we've got some logos that we just kind of splashed up really quick with simple effects. Here's a destroyed watercolor brush effect set up that you have complete control over and you'll see all of that in the training here we've got the same brush with the Coors Light logo and you come down here and you can see we set up some really insane effects with the Mountain Dew logo also working with our brushes. Now the power of brushes in CorelDRAW is incredible. A real departure from vector clip art to standard clip art and being able to create custom setups, custom elements, custom effects for your designs very easily and very quickly working with our brush pack. So we want to take a moment here to just thank you for previewing our new training series and if you're interested in working with the brushes you can buy those on the site and download those they're a little under 11 megabytes with over 400 different brushes all set up that you can work with in CorelDRAW you can follow along with the training and then go off and do your own design work working with the brushes and actually just to demonstrate here I want to go back to page one and we'll just go ahead and set up a design similar to this effects design we've got set up here very quickly working curl draw so we can see just what you can expect from the training and working with these brushes. Go ahead and take this skull. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to create a new page. Go ahead and paste that in. Now that was tilted a little bit. I want to straighten that out. And all I want to do is just start creating some really cool effects for this skull. Create a nice design, nice sports design with this. To do that, I'm simply going to go to my brushes. I'm going to go here, open up my brushes. I'm going to go to my beveled shapes right here. And I'm just going to start creating brushes here. Now, I've got a different look here coming off of some feathers. But I'm going to work with a beveled shape brush here to very quickly set up a nice custom design. I don't think I want that one. I want that brush. No, I don't want that brush. This one. And I'll start working with this one here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, very simply, I'm working with a pen tool. I'm going to, hit, I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I want to start out with some new brushes. But I'm just going to come right up off of here. I'm going to change the size of this. And we show you in the training how to do everything with these brushes, all the tools and functionality and draw that's available. And I'm just going to go ahead and start drawing in a feather shape here that I can use to set up a feather design. Now I've got that set up there. Now what I want to do is double click here and just kind of bring this out a little bit. We'll do the same here. Bring that out a bit. Do the same there. Nice cool feather shape going on. You can see working with these brushes that you can create really off the wall designs custom very easily and very quickly. We can see that working with this particular video. Now this effect is kind of like an MMA t-shirt or something like that but I'll bring this one up in here, and I'll bring this one down here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that node in there, and I'll show you how to work with all these nodes and everything in the training. But I've got this set up here. This is a nice wing set up here. What I want to do is I want to bring some more feathers in here, so I'll just go ahead and trace right into there, and we'll do some more here just to add another layer of feathers on top of the setup that's already in there. Now, you can see that this is totally different than working with clip art. And this is really the only brush pack available for CorelDRAW anywhere on the internet that we've put together here. So there's my wing set up. Very easy, very quick. Now what I want to do is I want to put some shading in here underneath these 
feathers that I've got set up here, even though these are like a metallic look. So I want to go and I'll go to my destroyed brushes. Actually, probably go to my destroyed watercolor and we'll use that for now. I want to come down in here and see which brushes I've got here. That's not the one that I want. Let's see, I want to go to this brush. No, not that one. That one? No, not that one. Which one of these brushes do I want to use? Is that the one I want? Actually, that is the one I want. I'm going to go ahead and work with that for now. I'm going to go ahead and delete that, delete that. I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to change my size down here down to about 0.6. I'm going to start in here and just come right in this way just to put some shading in behind these feathers. And I'll fill that with a black. And you can see that I'll right click, even though that's a watercolor, right click, order to back of page. I'm still going to get a nice shading effect back here behind my feathers. Do the same thing here. Start inside and then come outside and just flow right down through. Fill that with a black. Right click. Order to back of page. Nice effect going on there. Same thing here. We'll go ahead and start right up in here and just follow this right down in here. Fill that with a black also. Right click. Order and to back of page. We'll do the same thing here. Just bring this right back in here, fill that with a black, right click and order to back of page. Very easy to work with these and set these up. Fill this with a black also. Might want to change the shape of that just a bit. Double click on that and bring this note over this way. Probably want to change our size just a little bit here to match the size of our feathers currently. And I'll go ahead and right click on that, order to back of page. Just kind of a distress or grunge touch coming off of these feathers here. Same thing here. Fill with black. Right click. Order to back of page. Now that that's set up, all I'm going to need to do, that that's, all those effects are built in there with that shading. The next thing I want to do is bring some type of different look in between these two wings, in between these feathers. And I think I'll go with some thorns for that. I'm going to come over here. I'll go into my thorns folder. A lot of different brushes to work with in this 400 brush pack, but I'll go with some thorns. I think I'll go with something like maybe this thorn here. How's that? That might be a little bit too straight. Not really what I'm looking for. What about this? And actually, that looks good right there. I think that'll be a nice touch in between the wings here. So I'm going to go ahead with this brush. I'm just going to follow right down through these wings with that thorn, and I'm going to bring that down in size just a bit. Not quite that much, but that should be good right there. And I can click here and bring this right up into here and just have it building off like something's coming out, some thorns are coming out between the feathers. And I can right click on that, order, and to back of page. And then I'll go back to my brush here and I'll bring in another thorn stroke there. I want to right click on that, order to back of page, same thing here, getting really sick, really easy to design with this order, to back of page, and we'll show in the training series how to work with all of these brushes effectively. And this, because it's so short in here, I'm going to have to bring this right on back, and then select order and to back of page. So I've got that wing set up really twisted kind of look there, something you might see on an MMA or something like that. Now, the way this wing's formed, I can actually take this now and start to tweak it. Go ahead and group all this. I'm going to go to Effects and Add Perspective and just experiment with this shape of the wing in general from a perspective standpoint, see if it can be tweaked at all. And actually, I don't think I like any of the tweak that I'm getting there. I'll go with the original setup, but I think I want to do something with what would be the original here and just kind of offset that shape and just make it a little bit more dramatic coming up in this direction something like that and that looks good to me now now that I've got that set up all I need to do is select all this go ahead and group this right click hold down I'll hold my control key release my right mouse button copy here and then I'll go ahead and mirror this, and there is my wing setup for this particular design. Now the skull, I think, is probably going to need to be a little bit bigger at this point. 
and I'll just right click on that and select order and go to front of page as you can see there now a really cool setup there for a nice little sports design with a skull and some really cool fashion barbed wire beveled metallic looking welded wings going on in the background very easy to set up. Now I could go through and set up text effects and do all kinds of stuff but I just wanted to show you just how far off the wall I can get working with these brushes when I want to and of course all the brushes are available in the brush pack and we've got over 400 brushes as I said earlier so welcome to the introduction for the secrets of brushes with Corel Draw and this is about two hours worth of training just to work your way through it and then if you want to go ahead and buy the brushes and download those, those are available on the site and we'll continue in our next session.